Good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris Atwell. I'm the Cabinet Member for Communities and Central Services. Uh, this meeting is being webcast to allow the public to attend remotely if they so wish. Uh, please be advised that anyone sit sitting in the public seating area is not in view of the camera um, during the, while the meeting is webcast. In light of current COVID-19 infection rates in the city, can I please suggest that members remain seated throughout the duration of the meeting and to wear a face covering unless seated. If the continuous fire alarm sounds, please evacuate the room and public gallery by the stairwells. Do not attempt to use the lifts. Please assemble at Queen Victoria's statue in Guildhall Square. In order to comply with the Guildhall Trust's fire marshal regulations, anyone who signed in at the Guildhall reception desk should sign out when leaving the building at the end of today's meeting. So may I draw your attention to the fact the meeting is being live streamed and everyone speaking will be on camera. Um, please yeah, use your microphone when, when speaking and uh, ensure that they're turned off when you are finished. Um, introductions. Uh, James. Thank you. Uh, I'm James Harris. I'm the senior local democracy officer. Thank you, James. John Stedman, um, Modern Records Manager. Thank you, John. Councillor Lee Mason, Caution Ward and Opposition Spokesman. Thank you, Lee. Sue Page, Finance Manager. Thank you, Sue. Natasha Edmonds, Director of Corporate Services. And thank you, Natasha. Apologies have been received from Councillor Jeanette Smith, the group spokesperson for the Progressive Portsmouth People Group. Uh, members, any declarations of interest? Thank you. Uh, and we have no deputations for today's meeting. So to business, um, Portsmouth City Council records management policy. John, this is your report. Um, do you have anything to uh, add or by way of introduction to the report? Um, this is the routine um, review of the policy which is uh, required of all council policies um, the policy is essentially uh, fit for purpose we've made three minor amendments we've uh, updated the relevant legislation where it's mentioned in the policy we have um, updated the list of council policies to which it refers and we have added a clause um, empowering the director of the directorate who is responsible for, for records management um, at the time. So should we be reorganized in future, whoever that is at the moment, it's um, Mr. Bailey. Um, so empowering the director to make minor amendments and um, to authorize them if necessary, rather than having to bring um, the um, committee's um, time, to, um, to spend the committee's time on it. Thank you, John. Um, Lee, any questions, comments on the report? I've got a question and a suggestion for change. So, so um, can I just really ask about the situation with the fountain room? Is it still in use or has it been fully emptied now? And does it still have the mould problem, or has that been...? Um, no, we don't have a mould problem in the fountain store at the moment, um, nor in the other stores. We have eradicated that. Okay. And we have a dehumidifier that's on um, throughout the working week. But it's not plumbed in, so we can't run it at the weekend. OK. And is there a continued plan to keep using the fountain room, or is that...? Yes, there are. There isn't enough room to um, move the records out of there, uh, but a sustained period of appraisal of some of the records which are stored there would allow us to dispose of some which are probably no longer required for business purposes. Um, certainly there's a number which um, the Lord Mayor's filing, for example, which could be transferred to the historic archive. Um, so we would like to move out, but um, there is 
um, a need to bring back to council storage um, some four four thousand or so boxes of children's social services records which are stored with a commercial storage company um, and obviously there is a direct financial cost to the council for keeping those in commercial storage so the spare storage which is becoming available in the better quality record stores um, it will be devoted to housing those records as they're being brought back to us and there is actually an, an active program of bringing those records back the the records in the in the fountain store are ones which are um, not of high significance for business purposes okay. and they don't need first-class storage thank you much I think the uh, Lord Mayor's records have been doing a bit of a only in 2018 that they were moved across because I was told they were desperately keen for them to be moved over. So, um, yes, we did, we have taken some of the Lord Mayor's records into the historic archive, but we haven't taken any into the modern records archive. So, as they've been, um, they've reached the end of their their business life. They've actually been passed into the historical archives' hands. Um, and they're in the best quality storage that the city owns. Cool. Thank you much. And the other thing I was going to ask is for a slight change in 3.2.2. I'm happy that to save time it, the delegating authority is given to the director, but I'd like to add on a clause at the end of that, just saying after consultation with relevant cabinet member and opposition spokespersons. Well, I yep, see happy. no reason to <laughs> no. include that. Happy, yeah. Okay. okay. With that amendment, happy. Good. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you, John. Um, thank you for being here today with this report. Cause it gives me an opportunity to say thank you for the last 38 years of service. It. It's not long. I don't if you think say it's it very quite as long as that. <laughs> what was it? 1984. Ni uh, 1990. Oh, okay. So it's 32. Okay. Well, that's, that's it may still feel that's... like 38 years sometimes. <laughs> I, I'm sure it does. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure it does. Uh, look, all the very best. Uh, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of opposition spokespeople as well. I wasn't aware you were planned to leave. So. Uh, um, no, you're, you're, you, well, you have a retirement, uh, a well-earned yes, retirement. I, I'm 66 right. um, in May. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's time to um, hand this baton on to other people. And um, well, you have a—I uh, understand you also have a, a very important role, a new role, in your life uh, as grandfather. Uh, yes, fingers crossed. Okay. My uh, my daughter is is having a baby shortly. So lots of exciting things yeah. to look forward to. But thank you very much for thank you everything. And uh, in fact, our one of the very first people I, I met when I became cabinet member was yourself and uh, and you showed me around and you were very kind and uh, uh, considerate to, uh, to to me new new in post so I appreciate that well, um, I would like to thank both the um, cabinet members here for their support um, both for me personally and for um, for modern records um, over the last few years because it's been um, reassuring to have that. Thank you. Thank you very, you're very welcome. Can I just um, give my thanks as well for everything you've done and you have been a wealth of knowledge. I think the city would be much a poorer for it. It's the uh, ability when you need to know something. Yeah. It's like recently about um, something up on the hill and you're able to find it within hours. It's quite useful. Um, as a side note, are you still going to be involved with the Portsmouth Papers or who is going to be taking over responsibility for those? Um, yes, the plan is that I'll continue um, as, as editor and with another member of staff as joint editor. Um, that is a, a paid employee and who will be sort of, um, able to deal with the things, the orders and all that sort yeah. of paperwork that, that one isn't able to do as a volunteer. Well, well, that sounds an excellent compromise, and I'm very glad to hear you're still going to be involved in that as well. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, John. Okay, okay. You're very welcome to stay, of course, but you may have other things you, 
you wish to do. <laughs> so, okay, so we move on to the other the other report. Uh, Sue, over there with finance, and it's going to let us know about money. Okay, um, so what you have before you is the uh, monitoring of the third quarter uh, revenue cash limit. So that's the. Sorry, Sue, so if I could ask you to get a little closer to the. That's, this you. is the forecast um, of the. Uh, revenue expenditure for the year based at, as at quarter three. So um, the, the summary of 3.1, which shows the net underspend of the portfolio after allowing for COVID-related costs and windfall items, is 344,000. And then you have some details uh, of the various variances, which you read in conjunction with the appendix a, which analyzes the variances between COVID costs, windfall items, and net other net variances. So, if anyone has any questions, thank you, Sue. Lee, any questions, comments for Sue? I, uh, well, not so much Sue. I did have requests before under 4.10 for the details of the costings for when we were doing the meetings in the auditorium, so I have been told I'd be receiving those, which I... You haven't had? I've gone through and done a search on the emails, and I've got emails telling me I'll get the information, but never actually send me the information. No, for, no from me. I will... Uh, apologies. Uh, I'll follow that one up and get that information to you. Okay. I don't know if it's okay without knowing the information. Hello, any, any, anything else you want to ask or add? Are we still happy that the um, IT is heading in the right direction and will be yes. back on track? It's, it's, it's heading in the right direction. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, it's, it is heading in the right direction. I think as at February it was about uh, it was 130. Um, so it's, it's still moving down, but we've got another month. Thank you. Well, this is uh, an item for, for noting. I therefore note the report. James, I was supposed to say something earlier for the other report, I rec the recommendation. Did I say that? I believe you agreed that um, with the amendment as yeah, suggested, okay. Councillor Mason. Well, um, it's been a long day. I was taking out that you'd agreed with me and oh. you were making a change, so... Um. I, I tend to agree with you. <laughs> um, okay. I think that's the end of today's business. Thank you, everybody. I close the meeting at 3.15.